female ejaculation is such a controversial topic. It seems to be what my clients want to know about the most. And uh, Betty had a viewpoint. It's, it's charged on either side. What are you saying? Well, female ejaculation is a real response. It's very simple. It happens. Now, why does it happen and what is the source? If you take your fingers and penetrate your vagina, and as soon as you're in the opening, curl up, you're going to feel an area that's lumpy, bumpy, and spongy. If you feel smooth, you've gone too far in, so pull out. Keep on stimulating that area and check into the sensation. And usually the sensation is, I feel like I need to pee. Mm -hmm. I feel a pressure. So that's that ur little urethral sponge that goes around the urinary tract. It's what people call the G-spot, that little spongy area you can feel. But it goes whoop, with a prostate-like fluid to protect the urinary tract from the friction of penetration. It's um, erectile tissue. So, you know, you're going to feel it as you become aroused. You're going to feel it puff up, and then that's mm -hmm. what you're feeling. It's not special tissue within the vaginal wall. You can feel the the that area, that erectile tissue, through your vagina, and it's part mm -hmm. of the clitoral system. It's not some separate organ. It's part of the clitoral system. And what you're doing is if you have your hand and your vibrator on the outside stimulating, and then you have your barbell or a dildo or your fingers stimulating... You're sandwiching the internal clitoris with stimulation. So what does that mean? Orgasm is about blood flow. Arousal is blood flow. So when I sandwich, I'm going to get more blood flow. Mm -hmm. Then when the urethral sponge fills up with fluid, it presses against the legs and the bulbs. Now you're cooking with gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now it's going to feel really, really good because we can go right on the clit hit those 10,000 nerve endings, have a quick tension orgasm, and we don't feel it through the body. We don't pull it with the breath. It's not the orgasm that's rebirth. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think the whole part of this, it's about personal preference. Some women like to have the urethral sponge stimulated and, and there's a wide range of having it stimulated. It can be with fingers. It can be with a penis. It can be with the angle of the barbell. Um, it can be firm pressure, light pressure. Uh, so you have to find your preference. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So use your fingers. Use usually on um, a sex product. You want something with a ball or a larger tip at the end. And then when you insert it, you can either move it in and out and hit the urethral sponge, or you can pull it out a little and toggle it down. Mm -hmm. And you really have to do it yourself. It's hard to know where it is and how your stimulator your partner's doing it for you. So mm -hmm. really explore your body. When it fills up with the fluid, you can see there's two little ducts on either side of the, the urinary um, opening. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it's like a pff, pff, the ejaculation. Now, not all women squirt out. Right, right. We all ejaculate, but it's usually just a teaspoon or two. And we don't even really notice it. It's just like mixed in if we're wet or we've used lube. It's just mixed in with the other fluids. It's part of that wet spot. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, if you're having partner sex, right? It's not just all semen. It's It's our wetness, too. We just don't realize it. And sometimes women have a lot more volume of liquid and, mm -hmm. you know, that's okay. Celebrate it. It's like, there's a range, there's a diversity. So no, it's a real response. It can happen with an orgasm or without an orgasm. And that's something that Betty really wanted to keep separate. And it's because we want to define the female model of sexual response mm -hmm. and keep it separate from the male model. Because mm -hmm. the male model is quick arousal, penetration, five minutes ejaculation, right? Refractory period. Female model, little waves of good feelings that come in and go out and we keep on building and we keep on riding the waves, right? And then that sponge can fill up and it can squirt out, but it's separate from an orgasm. Yeah. We don't want to limit women and our mm -hmm. pleasure to ejaculation. Yes. Ejaculation is just something else at the buffet. Right, right. 
And I find for myself, I mean, I understand where Betty was coming from because I was a young woman in the 1980s. I read all of the Cosmopolitan articles about finding my G-spot. I felt less than that this was something like I couldn't have a G-spot orgasm. I had partners that really wanted me to have a G-spot orgasm and would spend a lot of time like, you know, trying to stimulate that spot. And all I felt was like, I've got to pee. Stop. That's not comfortable because they were so aggressive at doing it. When I finally was able to ejaculate a large amount at age 57, I found the the secret for me, and it's going to be different for every woman. woman. But for me, um, I have to be like maybe five, six orgasms in. Uh Uh-huh. I am super aroused. I'm sure that my urethral sponge is super erect and full of fluid. I have to be well hydrated. If I'm thirsty, not going to happen. And I need something hard. I need like the end of the barbell. I need the enjoy magic wand. I need like that firm pressure. It's not going to happen for me with fingers or a penis. And interestingly, I never felt that urge to pee when it happened, but a lot of fluid came out. It felt like a release, like, you know, how like when you have to pee like really bad and you're like holding it and holding it. And then when you finally pee, you get this like, ah, for me, it wasn't an orgasm, but it was a pleasurable feeling. Um, It's not something that I feel that I have to do every time. Um... But it it certainly is pleasurable. There is so much for us mm-hmm. to enjoy as women. Mm-hmm. I guess that's it. It's like the buffet of life. Yes. You know, have a little sample of everything and know that if you have this response, it's completely normal. Mm-hmm. And if you don't squirt out, that's also normal. And really, it's it's your body's response. It's mm-hmm. your sexual expression mm-hmm. and it's all valid um, and it's all wonderful. And know that Betty Dodson never ejaculated. She never squirted out. <laughs> all right. And she had a ton of pleasure. So either way, it's all wonderful, but it's real. 